In this video, I'm going to discuss how to write recommendation as part of the chapter 4 of um, a research paper, quantitative research paper. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung video on how to write the conclusion part of a research paper, may video din ako nun. You can look it up under research playlist dito sa YouTube channel ko. Okay, so recommendation tayo. Conclusion and recommendations are part of chapter 4. So, ito yung itsura niya sa isang research paper. Ito yung sample. Ito yung conclusion part. Ayan, this is the conclusion part. Still part of the chapter 4. And then right after the conclusion is your recommendation. The recommendation part of your research paper. Okay? So, ito siya. Ano bang nakapaloob? Ano bang nandyan sa recommendation? So, ito yung sample natin. So, the following recommendations are made in consideration of the results and conclusion of the study. So, yung conclusion based on the result and the recommendation is also based on the result as well as dun particularly sa conclusion. Ano. So, based on the findings, the overall level of school climate of the private secondary schools in Barangay Ilang was high. Ito yung result. Okay? However, it was revealed that among the domains of school climate, school safety at yung, yung indicator that has the lowest level, which was moderate level. Okay? Ulitin natin. However, it was revealed that among the domains of school climate, school safety had the lowest level, which was moderate. Thus, the researcher recommends that the, that the school ameliorates the level of school safety through addressing issues on threats and bullying inside and outside around school. So, ito lang tandaan natin sa recommendation. If the result is high or very high, we have to maintain that. Maintain or improve far further. Pag merong moderate or low, we have to improve. No, We have to make it better. Paano? Uh, yun yung i-address natin dun sa recommendation. Paano? So, ito yung uh, nandito. So, thus, the researcher recommends that the school ameliorates or make it better, no? Ameliorates the level of school safety. Okay? Kasi ito yung may moderate, ito yung lowest level ng, uh, ng mga indicators, among the indicators of school climate. So, paano ito ma-ameliorate? Okay? Through addressing issues on threats and bullying inside and outside around school. Saan ko to kinuha? Okay. Kinuha ko ito dun sa mga items under school safety that has um, yung mga lowest level. Yung mga may pinaka low na mean dun sa appended table. Sa items under the indicator school safety. So, ito yung dapat i-address nila. Okay? So, that's one of the recommendations. Moreover, it was found out that the overall level of mathematical disposition, ito naman sa second variable. Yung umpisa kanina, that's the first variable. No? Dito sa second variable, mathematical disposition. So, it was found out that the overall level of mathematical disposition of the students was high. So, ito yung nasa result. Findings also revealed a significant and positive relationship between school climate and mathematical disposition of the students, which implies that enhanced school climate will lead to an enhanced student mathematical disposition. Okay? Ito yung basis sa conclusion natin or sa result ng relationship between the two variables. Kasi yung relationship nila is signif uh, significant positive relationship. So, meaning to say, a change, pag nag-improve yung variable 1, mag improve din, no? Yung variable 2. Okay. A change in variable 1 um, affects, uh, would also bring change to variable 2. So, ganun ang ibig sabihin ng significant positive relationship, no? Between the variables. So, hence, the researcher recommends that the school administrators, eto, we have to be very specific. So, kanino natin nare-recommenda? Sino yung gagawa? Okay? Sino yung posibleng gagawa? And another consideration dito is, when you make your recommendation, uh, it should not sound like uh, a prescription. Yung parang, yung parang command ba na, eto dapat gawin. Eto dapat ganito gawin. Okay? Suggestion lang ito. So, you have to make use of the word may. Okay? May. And, um, 
let's parang hindi natin gagamitin or avoid using the words must, yung should. Okay? Let's just use the word may. So, pwede nilang gawin. Okay? So, hence, the researcher recommends that the school administrators, staff, and teachers maintain the high level of school climate. Ito yung sinasabi ko. If it's high, we have to maintain. Yung recommendation natin is to maintain or even enhance. Okay? So, maintain the high level of school climate by keeping the same high levels of expectations. Ito yung mga indicators kasi yung mga indicators nito high din, no? So, the same high levels of expectations, support, and peer social climate or even enhance school climate by improving school safety. Ito yung lowest, yung may lowest mean na moderate level. Okay? So, pwede pa niyang ma-enhance further by improving school safety. In addition, the researcher recommends that school administrators, teachers, and staff continue to impose high expectations. Kasi yung sa expectations, ito yung may pinakamataas na level ng uh, mean okay? among all the indicators of school climate. So, pwede niyang, pwede i-continue to impose uh, um, high expectations on their students to nurture the student's disposition towards mathematics. Furthermore, ito yung isa, an another uh, recommendation, the Department of Education may conduct a seminar to reorient the teachers and the school staff on the importance of holding high expectations in fostering positive mathematical disposition. Okay? Lastly, yung sa recommendation naman natin for the future researchers. Okay. So, lastly, future researchers may conduct a similar study on a different setting to discover new knowledge and add to the limited literature on the relationship of school climate and mathematical dispositions of secondary students. So, basically, itong recommendation natin, parang anchored siya doon sa significance of the study. If you can still remember, when you, uh, in your significance of the study, inisa-isa din doon yung mga beneficiaries, no? Sino ba yung maka, mga, mga organizations or mga tao na makakapag-benefit, no? Na magagamit itong result ng study natin. So, again, ang last part doon would be the future researchers. Okay? So, that's the recommendation part of your research paper.